track stand is basically balancing on the spot. It's really important to get it nailed before you move on to the harder tricks. If you watch Andy closely, his body is relaxed, not tense, and he's only lightly feathering the front brake. He's maintaining tension on the chain with his feet and pulling backwards slightly on the handlebars to counteract. He's perfectly balanced and in an ideal position to move straight onto something a little bit more showy. The best way to learn the track stand is to ride slowly in a straight line, ideally on a flat or slightly uphill. Have your feet in your neutral position and come to a standstill by feathering your front brake. Just before you come to a stop, turn your front wheel away from your lead foot at roughly 45 degrees. Your weight should be over the front of the bike and your body relaxed, arms and legs slightly bent. You're trying to find your balance point and this will happen with trial and error. If you feel you're going to lose balance, don't put your foot down, but instead put pressure on the pedals to push off again. Try not to lock either brakes. If you lock both of the brakes, your body has to move while your bike stays still, which is very difficult. We often see people twisting their bars rapidly in both directions, trying to maintain balance. Only turn your wheel away from your lead foot. If you start to lose balance, simply pedal forwards instead. Make sure that your feet are in a neutral position. It's hard to balance with the wrong foot forward or with raised cranks. Once you've mastered the basic track stand, you can go on to find other ways of putting your balance to the test. Track stand is foundation, standard. That is the key starting point, so any, any trials move or even like any sort of move on a bike. The track stand teaches you that, that balance and that control of the bike in the first place. If you ain't got a good track stand, go home. Feeling confident? Then check out the rest of our videos.